Hello, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome back to Star Realms. Working my way through Chapter 25 of the campaign. This chapter is called High Alert Heroes Mission 4. We're going up against the Initiative. For the moment, Harmony Realm is free of enemies. When the first fleet arrives, Chancellor Pax Malit takes a shuttle to your flagship. Well done, Sky. McCready's a lunatic, but a dangerous one. Now, take me to the power source. Its name is Warp. Sure. On your way to Warp's chamber, proximity alarms blare, and moments later, explosions rock the ship. You are under attack by the initiative. They've somehow gotten the jump on you. And the achievements for this mission. Win after taking four turns in a row during the game. Win the game on an odd number turn and win by the end of turn 20. There's a reason that this first one is there. Your opponent takes two extra turns at the start of the game. When you require a hero, take an extra turn. And these will actually stack. Like I said, I've played some in the previous videos in this chapter. I've actually played a few of these where, or on my iPad. And again, if you want to pick up this game, just go ahead and click on the links in the description for this one. So they're going to get two shots off on me. Ow. Hold up. Let's start with an explorer. That did seem like three turns in a row, by the way. All right, so if I pick up a hero, like Strategist Thompson, I'll be able to take another turn right away. So I'm actually going to grab the Spike Cluster first, then grab Thompson. I don't have any units that are going to give me abilities, and I'm only going to have three purchasing power on this next turn. See right there, I was able to take a second turn right away, do a little bit of damage, but now we got some high-cost units in the trade row. So this is pretty much going to be a fight to whoever gets to the Jamming Terminal or the Moonworm Hatchling first. Nothing to be able to pick up here, but thankfully I've got a little bit of static defense to be able to chip away at their health a little bit. Okay, went for the Repair Mech. Interesting. I'm actually going to go for the Jamming Terminal. Moonworm Hatchling Frontier Hawk, I think is a good pickup. But the big thing is, with the Jamming Terminal, every turn that it's active, I'm going to be able to chip away at the initiative. So, grab this. I'm going to grab the Frontier Hawk first. I'm going to grab both Frontier Hawks. Bioform Frame is going to let me get a second turn going right now. Let's grab that guy, do this. Here we go again, next turn for me. Not coming up uh, the way I want right now, because I only have two turns in a row going at the moment. I'll leave that guy there. Both bases coming in really, really late, which is not good for me. Discard these guys. Orbital Shuttle's going to be the perfect play to pick up here. If I use Bioform Freeman, I'll only get one extra trade, so it's kind of a useless thing right now. And note, none of my bases are outposts. So they can just go right through me. Thankfully they didn't. They actually uh, took a pot shot at me on that one. Go ahead, do this. Get some more trade going right now. Destroyer bot, I think, and builder bot. Oh, sweet. That's actually really helpful for me. Um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I want to use Strategist Thompson right now to scrap some stuff I've got. But I think I'll hold on him kind of for probably the next turn where it's going to be a rainy day. Oh, damn, we got the Transit Nexus early. Okay, Burrower would work with my Spike Cluster. Cargo Craft would work both these guys, so I'm going to go with that. Oh, I can do both. Let's just do that right there. Scrap him. Trying to keep myself alive in this one, but unfortunately, win by the end of turn 20 is really difficult because it's turn 19. I'm not able to get this going. So right away, I'm not able to get all three of these achievements. Because there's no, there's no way I can do this one. So I'm actually going to restart and see if I can make this one work. This is a difficult mission so far. Okay, there's a, a one cost unit and a three cost. That's helpful. And then again, the AI takes two turns to start. But two turns or three turns to start. Okay, I've got a chance to actually do a lot here. So I'll get another turn right now. And thankfully, my next turn is all... Scouts, so actually I'll guarantee getting a second turn or another turn going right now. Nothing with that. Turn number three in a row. Not very helpful, these guys. 
I picked up three, so I should be able to get four turns in a row coming out of this. And from here, I'm actually going to go the Integration Port Stinger. Uh, Capture Drop Post is good, but at the same time, I want to try to get... See, four turns in a row during a game now. We got that achievement done. And so I do have an extra turn to play with. Hmm. I'm actually going to go for the Crusher. Crusher is a really good three-cost unit. It gives you a lot of attack up front. You can use it to just really hammer out that damage. I'm going to grab the Light Cruiser here. Cargo Craft's a good one, but I do want to get that Light Cruiser to try and keep the AI from getting too many units. From here, Cargo Craft, Orbital Shuttle seems like a good mix. Iabnal Shaner is now available. Looks like I'll be able to get her on this next turn. Not with that integration board, though. It's gone. We got some of these units I don't need. Read as Scouts and Vipers. I'm going to go ahead and activate this guy. I'm going to scrap that plasma bot. I'm also going to do this, actually, instead. He activated. Let's go with that gun platform. I'm going to grab a high ammo Shaner, just to make sure I get another turn to go off from this. Ooh. A trade-fed battleship would be really nice if I can get my hands on it, and I'm not going to be it. Ooh, wait, maybe? Yeah, I can. Love it. And then, let's see. I want to deal some damage here. Make sure they double discard on this one. There we go. That's not a bad set of turns. This, one I'm gonna this turn I'm going to have a little bit of fun here. Confirm I'm, I'm on turn 16. So I gotta win on an odd numbered turn now. Uh, we're gonna do target opponent discards. Activate Star Empire to get another unit. I was hoping that was gonna come up another way. Did not. This is a tough one right now. Um, the cards are not coming out the way I want them to. I may have to just try to get two of these units. Oh, grab, I didn't realize you grabbed the Hive Queen. It's actually kind of a painful one to run into. I need to get some attacks going here, and I'm not getting them right now. But I will get a little bit of extra trade off this. Grab the Blob Miner. What turn am I on? Turn 18. If this is turn 19, I'm okay, maybe? Yeah, turn 19. So this is really the, the last chance you have to really deal damage. And I'm not there. I guess I'll grab these Plasma Bots. Grab Bio Warrior Storm. Okay, get an extra turn on that, get some extra attack on that. I might, it's going to be close. But it will be on turn 20 that I'm getting this. So, yeah, I think I've actually got this one. Nine attack. Trade on that one, and I want to activate Pact here. Just to get that extra three attack. So this one is doable, but in my example, unfortunately, I'm only getting two of the three achievements because I wasn't able to win this one on turn 19. And I'm not planning on taking another turn here because these two seem like the harder ones to get. Winning the game on an odd number turn, you can win on 21, 23, really any of the extra turns. Uh, the initiative blindsided us. Uh, the Chancellor says, we still won. This time we can't keep playing defense. What choice do we have? There are always choices. Unfortunately, I was not able to get all three achievements on this playthrough, but let me know how you did when you try this mission in the comments section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.